Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the Rico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about, about today's farm and such. Here I am in front of Dalin, uh, the, one of the main gates uh, and into the city. So, yeah, uh, I'll show you some clips, but I am going to walk in and, well, and also, yeah, let's get to the farm, <laughs> shall we? It's kind of wild. Uh, hey everybody, yes, I'm still in Tallinn. Um, sorry for the late video, my apologies. Uh, I, I do these in the morning now because I'm traveling, right? And uh, because otherwise it would be like 3 a.m. or something. I don't know. Um, and today I had to get out of the apartment early, so it is what it is. Today we have 790 uh, Domino and Trumino Tallinn. Why does it look so funky? Let's refresh. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I think I have a pretty good video on this last time because um, I uh, probably because I, I've this is one of those problems that I've solved a couple of times, but uh, well, only twice. But the reason why I say it like that is because I, I do remember this problem like way, way when about, I don't know, 20 years ago now, say, when it was new to me, dynamic programming and this idea and this concept. And then it's um, and and it is definitely one of those things where like oh, you really do see things, right? Um, yeah. First things first. Uh, let's go to the mod. I it's also one of those things where uh, I'm not you know I, I'm traveling right now, right? As y'all know, um, so it's harder for me to draw stuff. So it's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but let me let me make an attempt. It's gonna be a poor attempt, but let me make an attempt to put, put it. <coughs> But the idea here is that um, there's really only two ways of um, two different states, right? Um, without loss of uh, generality, right? Okay. And what I mean by that is that there are only two states. There's only, uh, okay, let's say you have, eh, this is actually very hard to do. Let's say, you know, you have X dominoes, right? Do, 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 right? You have, uh, I guess I'm drawing with the touchpad, so this is how right? So then, and then it's either that this is even, right? Or uh, what I would say, this is odd, right? Uh, and odd is just having one extra domino with one extra or uh, half of domino sticking out, right? So that's basically the, the idea. Uh, and of course, for a loss of generality, you can flip it, right? Like it doesn't change the state or anything. So that's basically the way that I would um, think about it, right? Because then now you have two two domino p and and yeah beyond that it just um uh um <clears throat> it just becomes trying to figure out how to uh, represent them with, as each other right for example if you have a even one right uh, so there are two things you can do you can add uh an uh, uh, one domino right or which which of course now is a trivial uh. Uh, trivial way to kind of just think about it, right? Um, <clears throat> like in terms of recursiveness, right? And then there's another way, which is maybe, uh, yeah, another way that you can think about it is that, okay, well, if we had even to begin with, then you can have something like this, right? There's one way, um, right? So it looks something like this. So you have two dominoes, but vertically. And the reason why, I mean, you could kind of do another state, but it's a little bit weird, right? Because you can also have just like, you know, one domino and then have this as a different state. But of course, there's only one way to fit the second domino, which is why you, you are able to do this, right? Because one implies the other. There's no other way to do it without leaving a hole. So that's basically it. And then the third way, of course, is just something like this, right? Uh, and you, as you can see, I am just enumerating it, and this is just using a uh, uh, what's it called? Trinormal, tri, tri, triminal, triminal, right? Uh, and of course, there are two ways to do this. One is this way, and then the other is like, you know, uh, flip on the vertical axis, right? So that's basically kind of the the core idea behind this, and you can also iterate um, uh, this same thing, but for uh, the other one, right? So let's say you start out with this. And then there's only uh, two things you can do, probably, right? One is is just adding a thingy, right? So that now it looks like this. But then now this is another 
uh, one with, a, with one sticking out, right? And then the other one is just using a trinormal, which now be- becomes uh, 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 what maybe I call it like even, right? Even and odd or something. Even being that it's just even, and then odd is just that it's an odd thing sticking out. And that's basically the idea. Uh, I mean, of course, it's easier said than done because uh, it's way, you know, it's way easy to make mistakes on these uh, in, um, in the uh, enumeration, right? Because all basically what you're trying to do is just enumerate every possibility. And that's basically it. Uh, so, okay. So let's say we have N, right? So, and you could go forward or backwards. I don't think it matters that much uh, for this particular problem. And also, N is only a thousand, so you're really not worrying about it that much. But uh, but yeah, so okay, let's say you, you start at uh, X and uh, 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 my naming thing is terrible. Today I'm not going to go over the, the, the nuances of uh, memorization. Uh, suffice to say that, you know, you can memorize. And I'm not going to go over dynamic programming either. Uh, I am just, I've been out all day. It's really cold and I'm really draining my energy, but I, I want to just get this out. But yeah. Uh, okay, so then now you have two things. Right? One is kind of um, go, ye- I, let's just say get count even or something. So get even and then x. This is basically, uh, and I'm, we're just going to throw a lazy cash on it. But basically this is just saying uh, uh, this is the number of ways to get um, a, a dumb, uh, to get a, 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 a two by, uh, okay, let's just call it n, right? by n with nothing left over, right? And then you have another one, which maybe you can write as get odd, right? And this is this is the number of ways to to get uh, 2 by n with one extra bit um, hanging out, right? All right, let's do the even first. And base case is pretty straightforward. If n is equal to 0, then we return 1, right? Because there's only one way to do no uh, 0, leftover things and then now as we said we um we can do let's say get even of n minus one that's one of the um we can maybe even just na- la- uh, label these which is uh what's it called one vertical you go to this right uh two horizontal is you go to get even n minus two right um you can maybe add an if statement here if you like um, but we can also just write if n is less than zero, just return zero, right? Um, so that, that means that if it's one, then it doesn't go, right? Uh, and then the other case is, what was the other case? Oh, yeah. Uh, and then trinomo, tri, tri, domino, trimo, trom, tromino, eh, I don't know. Eh, it's really confusing, but okay, but you get the idea, right? And then this is just, you go to um, get odd of n, uh, let, you, as long as you're consistent, this should be good, right? Because um, I think this is n minus 2, but it has one thing sticking out. So this should be n minus 2. Uh, but you have to be consistent about it. it does, it's not that hard, but you just have to be consistent with your definition and then how you implement that definition, right? That's what I mean by consistency. And that's basically the, the even function, right? And we're going to start off by getting even of n, so that's where we re- will return. Uh, we'll just mod it anyway, just for fun. And then get odd, as we said, there are only two ways to get it. But base cases, if n is less than or equal to 0, then we return 0, right? Because if you have 0 things and 1 sticking out, then that yeah, then, then you have a thing sticking out. And that's not a valid case. Otherwise, then now we have... Um, oh, oh, I lied about this one. I think this is... Uh, this is two times this, right? Because, because <clears throat> basically, it's, it's it's the one you know, it, it's it, it's the one where you you rotate it, right? So that you have one sticking out on top and one sticking out on the bottom. Anyway, so yeah, so, oops, uh, I mean, I think I I drew it that way, but then I just forgot about it. It's very easy to forget. It's very easy to mess up, as I say. Okay, so yeah, and uh, now the, uh, let's just say we have one vertical, right? And for this. There's only one way, right? Because uh, this is get odd and minus one, right? Um, and there's only one way because you you know where the bit is, the extra bit is, right? So you don't try to do both of them. You only try to do 
one of them. And then now the other one is tra uh, Tromino, which is also, uh, there's only one way to do it. So it's going to get even uh, N minus one, right? That, that's what I mean by you have to be consistent. So as long as you're, oops, uh, as long as you're consistent about it, then then you it, the answer will come to you with respect to uh, whether this should be n minus one or n minus two, right? Because now, if you just think about it, then you have one n with one thing sticking out, then you subtract the thing sticking out, and then you just retract one domino, right? So that's why this is it. And uh, I think we, that's enough for me to give a spin uh, if I had no. Hopefully this is good. It looks okay for these two cases. I'm going to YOLO submit. Uh, and yes, okay. It's a little bit slow because whatever. Uh, there are actually more maths you can do, but but this, I mean, I think this is the most general way to solve it because it is just enumerating it, right? So there are probably ways you can optimize for it. Uh, and you can even doing it bottoms up, right? And then space optimize, right? Um, and I urge that if you really want to prove that you understand it to yourself, then definitely do that. But for me, good call it a night. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health from to here from Talon. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.